What is going on guys? In this video, I wanna to talk to you about the delete item API in DynamoDB. Uh, so I'm just gonna to talk to you quickly about what this uh, API is useful for and then show you in a quick example using Node.js. Uh, so just to go over the API, why it's useful, why you wanna use it. Uh, so it lets you delete a single item, single item, so not more than one, uh, by using the reference primary key. So you need to know the ID of the thing that you want to delete. Um, so in your use case, if you just have a partition key, then you can just provide your partition key. But if you're using a partition key and range key model in your table, you need to provide both of those things. And if you don't know what partition key is, what primary key is, what range key is, go and check out my video on DynamoDB schema design. I talk a lot about those topics, so um, they're very thorough. So you should have a good idea of what those things are before you try and use this API. Um, so there's also some additional details here. Uh, you can specify conditions on the delete item call um, so that it can only delete an item, say for instance, if a condition is satisfied. Uh, so maybe for instance, you only wanna delete an item if a value within the item itself is greater than five, for example. Uh, so you can also kind of encode that into your request. Uh, so even if you call the delete item API on that row, it won't be deleted unless that condition is met. Not gonna get into conditional deletes in this example, but it's something to be aware of if you're using this API. Um, so let's go into the example now. Uh, so here we are um, looking at the Node.js example. Uh, so we're setting up a params object and we're saying the key or the, uh, yeah, the key is gonna be artist and the value is going to be, you know, in this example, no one you know, and song title is going to be um, this guy scared of my shadow. So in this example, we're seeing that this table um, more than likely, almost certainly has a uh, partition key that consists of, sorry, a primary key that consists of a partition key and range key. If your table only has a uh, partition key, then you would only provide the partition key. So if it's this guy, you only provide this guy. Uh, so again, this depends on how your table is set up. Uh, also, secondly, we're specifying our table name. So our table name in this example is music. And then we're just making a call using the DynamoDB uh, client from the SDK. We're passing in the params that we provided, also a callback function. Then we just print out if it's an error, um, else we print out if it's a successful request. Um, then looking down here, it gives you an idea of what the output is. Uh, so you get a data object back that tells you how much capacity has been used and the table name that you modified. Uh, so hopefully this video is useful for you. If you liked it, please don't forget to like and subscribe so that you don't miss out on my next ones. Thanks so much and I'll see you next time.